Lately in California, the rain has been a total bust for us car guys. I mean, a lot of dudes are out here losing traction, getting water inside their intakes, or just straight up getting their cars dirty. I am much of a clean freak when it comes to my WRX, so it annoys me often when I have to wash my car often due to the rain, especially when I wash my car and it rains literally the next day. My car is a pretty dark color, so it's super easy to see the dirt and water spots from the rain and the 5 a.m. moistness. So I figured there has to be something, a product even, that can keep my paint looking young and fresh. So definitely big shout out to Shine Armor for sending us this graphene ceramic spray that we're gonna apply onto the WRX's paint. And I was actually curious about how their products actually work. You'll never know until you actually try. So that's kind of something that I wanna do today. As you can see, it does show how to use the product, the content of the product, and the features of the product. The main goal of this bottle is to actually defend water spotting to protect against bugs, saps, as well as less prone to giving your paint scratches or during the washing process, and it gives more depth and clarity on your surface, and it's definitely easy to apply. It also does come with this bottle squirter, as well as a purple microfiber that we can use to apply it onto the paint. But just for reference, I actually did use the Gold Class McGuire's car wash soap that I use into my foam gun and for my bucket. And then we also used the clay kit. This was actually the first clay bar that I actually used on my paint. Some hate it, some love it. And note, before you clay bar your car, make sure you wash your car so that you don't move those contaminated bacteria and scraps all over your paint and end up giving yourself scroll marks or some deep scratches. <laughs> Get a clean microfiber. Smooth to the touch, gang. Okay? We're gonna apply this right here. Before we apply it, let's go follow the directions. So first, spray shine armor's graphene ceramic spray into the microfiber towel. One more for good luck. And we're gonna apply it to the surface. So wipe the product onto the paint, allow the product to sit for one to two minutes and then buff to a high shine with a microfiber towel. And then for, we're gonna allow for four hours for it to cure. It's been a while. We've been having rain for like the past week and a half. So I never got the chance to wash the car, but dang dude, but it just looks so good. You see the body lines and everything. This is probably one of my favorite parts, this body line right here, especially when it's like sunset because it reflects onto that side of the car. Just makes it look like it's wide body and it's absolutely sick. Now I ordered a while ago the paint matched rattle can, the 12 ounce spray for the duckbill so that we could paint match it and make it like the OEM little lip. That was on the trunk. But as I just drive this car around and park it and take pictures of it, the black I feel like makes a big difference. Like obviously this is just gonna be the primer black unpainted. Um, it's different probably when you put like a gloss black but I don't know guys, what do you think? The black has really grown onto me and I feel like it just gives it a whole different personality. It definitely would look very clean if it was paint matched into the specific color for this duckbill. But I don't know guys, what do you think? And we got the black diffuser here in the bottom, the black side skirt and the front lip, black over here. I don't know guys, what do you think? That sandpaper sound, because it's just so contaminated. This 
That's called buttery smooth, man. So this bottle is actually not made for like a crazy shine or anything like a wax wood. It's more for protection towards your paint and against from any other debris that come in contact with the surface. But if you prep the surface properly, like wash your car, clay bar, and you add this on top, not only does it give it a buttery smooth texture just because of the clay bar, but because of this, it adds like an incredible shine to it and a different type of smoothness. Adding this layer of this liquid onto the surface, dude, it's just squeaky clean, like seriously. Now we're gonna go add this into the whole entire car. As you can notice those little beads, those are all there because of the graphene ceramic spray that we put onto the paint. And without the spray, all the paint would generally get into one big blob. This is actually a smaller blob, but they would essentially be bigger on the surface of this paint. What actually makes the spray really cool is that you can use like a leaf blower like this to blow off the water easily without stressing with it too much. As you guys can see, the water that I'm spraying onto the door, it just drips out as to like one big body. But if we move over to a ceramic area like this, as you guys can see, the water is not collecting and it is literally dripping down. Spray water literally just falls and drips down. It doesn't even hold. Well, that's actually pretty, pretty sick. Compared to this, just sticking on there, it does not fall off at all. Now generally, if you put it without the spray, the water would all stick onto one area and just stay there. And it's not because it's angled, it's literally slipping off, guys. It's slipping off like there's literally butter on the surface. Well, it's pretty freaking dark, guys, but here we have it with the WRX and the paint. The car hasn't had a wash in nearly three weeks, and we've been experiencing more than a week and a half of straight rain. I've been parking this outside to purposely get it dirty, just to see how durable it is against the dirt, the breeze, and all the rain that comes in contact with the surface. We put the spray on the quarter panel, on the doors over here, and on the trunk, and on this quarter panel. The rain that comes down onto the paint literally just slides off like butter. On this side, we did not put any. So if you get pretty close here, you can actually see that there are a lot of watermarks and dirt on the side as well as on the side skirt. The Subi, almost literally three weeks without having a car wash. And it's been about a week and a half of straight rain onto the surface. So the car is actually pretty dusty. We did put it all over the hood. So it does have a nice, nice finish guys because the water does not stick. It literally just beads and falls off on the paint so it doesn't have that nasty finish from all the nasty rain that we've been experiencing. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go give the Subi another wash. We're gonna go test out how the water stays on it, but we're gonna apply the graphene ceramic spray on every single panel of this car. And now it is proven that this spray does wonders to the car, especially if you live in rainy environments where you're not able to wash your car all the time. If you want the water to just bead off purely, definitely recommend that you guys go get the graphene ceramic spray. It'll do you incredible wonders, I promise. I just want to thank you guys who made it to the end of today's video. Just want to show you guys a little bit of a small product review that we have done to the surface onto this WRX's paint. And hopefully you guys can go check them out because this is definitely something that you want to invest in to protect your paint. I definitely recommend this product to those car owners who have dark paint such as gray or black or 
I don't know, whatever you guys think gets super dirty easily. Obviously, if you have a lighter color, like white or silver, it's not going to be super noticeable. But my car is fairly dark. It is gray. So you do see a lot of the dirt really easily, especially right after having a car wash. But applying the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray just makes my life so much easier and just gives me less of a need to wash my car. I literally wash my car like maybe once a week. But obviously, since it's been raining, I haven't washing it. But I haven't felt the need to wash it because the Shine Armor Spray has made my paint feel like it's literally clean. The only thing that I've been maintaining is cleaning, you know, the lips of my, my wheels. But other than that, the car is staying nice and fresh, guys. But, you know, that's all for today's video, guys. All I got to say is Shine Armor is on top.